from a station working for you. This is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey. Here are your latest headlines. We are learning more about the state's efforts to expand access to vaccines to more Hoosiers. Right now, the state leaders say that the focus is on the most vulnerable for the COVID-19 vaccine. As of Wednesday, Hoosiers 70 and older can now sign up to receive their vaccine. That's because this age group accounts for just under 80% of our COVID-19 deaths and about 40% of hospitalizations. So to help, the state is partnering with CVS and Walgreens to provide some mobile vaccine clinics. So far, 11,000 nursing home residents have received their first dose of the vaccine. State leaders say every Hoosier in a skilled living facility should have received their first shot by the first week of February. The next priority group is those in the assisted living facilities. Students at Hamilton Southeastern schools will return to the classroom next week. Right now, those students are learning virtually. The districts approve the board uh, proposal by the board, allowing the in person classes starting on Tuesday. The plan would move pre K through sixth grade students to be 100% in person. Seventh through 12th grade students will begin operating on a hybrid schedule. A virtual option is also still available for anyone who wishes to continue learning at home for the rest of the school year. Time now for a check of our forecast with meteorologist Todd Clausen. Hey, Todd. Hello. Lauren, good Thursday to you. Temperatures once again will be above normal today in the low to mid 40s with skies that will be mostly cloudy. We will bring some rain showers into this forecast after sunset tonight, so you don't have to worry about it unless you're going to be out this evening. They should generally be light making their way through the area and it's all rain shower activity that changes though throughout the day on Friday as we'll deal with some spotty snow showers moving through. Not everybody's going to see them, but if you do see them, they could be fairly intense, reducing visibility on the roadways as far as far as potential accumulation tomorrow, everybody should be an inch or less. Lauren. All right, Tom, thank you so much. For more news and weather you need to know, just download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.